it's me, Ho Superstar. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's time to review DC Bombshell's Harley Quinn. And I'm really excited to break into this one just because it's Harley Quinn. She's my favourite character in the DC Universe. And she's also my favourite character in DC Bombshell, obviously. As you know uh, from a recent haul video you've seen, I picked up all four of these action figures. So I'm going to be reviewing them over the next few days because I am super stoked to get the DC Bombshells. Uh, in the collection, you can also get DC's Wonder Woman. You can get Harley Quinn, which we're seeing here, you can also get Batwoman and Poison Ivy. There is a series two of these figures already in the works, and they should be coming to us real soon, so I will be picking those up as well. Now, this is the regular release version, the boxed version. I know a lot of these figures got released early at a Toy Fair um, to the press, and they got like a polybagged version, but this is the official release with all the accessories. Um, and I'm just really stupidly stoked to get my hands on this one. Uh, the DC Designer Series by Aunt Lucia as well. Um, I really like this line of action figures. And of course, Harley Quinn is number two in this collection. So let's crack this open. I kind of don't want to destroy this box because of the nice artwork on it. As you can see, there's some nice artwork here. And I haven't decided how I'm displaying her yet, but I know I want to take her out to do a review. So let's try and do this delicately. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a nice box inlay. So the box inlay has the rest of the uh, bombshells artwork photos. Along the back, I'll probably do some photographs in that box because it looks nice. And here again, just displaying these figures. And may I just say, that face sculpt is not the face sculpt you get on the actual figure. <laughs> I don't know why they've used that art piece because that art it makes the figure look awful. <laughs> but the the actual box release version that I've got doesn't look half as bad. Because I was really I wanted to see it in person. Because I was really wary about that particular character and that art, you know, that face sculpt. Comes with a big mallet as well. Only two rope ties look at, so I can snip those off real easy. And we're in. And Harley is free. Come on. There we go. I'm always wary about pulling them out of the boxes because the boxes are so. They the, hold them in so tightly that I'm just terrified that when I'm going to pull her out, her head's going to come off or something. Let me just pop those in the bin. There we go. Okay. And she's free from her box. So let's, uh, first impressions. First impressions, loving this action figure. It's very nice, indeed. Um, the belt is loose and moves around quite freely. Let me just show you guys. That belt is quite freely moving, but does just drop nicely over her hips like that. Um, it is Batman's belt as well, I've noticed. It's got a bat buckle on there. Uh, she has a beautiful face sculpt. I'm really happy with that face sculpt. And the goggles are nicely firmly planted here across the head. Those are moulded to her. Those are not an accessory piece. Would have been nice if that was possibly an accessory piece that you could have pulled over her eyes. Um, the back of the jacket has an awesome Joker detailing. And what does that say? Uh, Joker's wild. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Joker's are wild. There's a lot of articulation to talk about when in this figure. Um, so of course the head is on a ball joint, so you can rotate that in a multitude of directions, which is awesome. She does have a shoulder uh, piece here that goes up and down, as well as out and back. She does also have a bicep break here, so you can twist her arm all the way around. She has a double jointed elbow, so you can bend her arm into some real positions. And then her hands as well are on a, um, I think they're on a rotation, yes they are. They're on a rotation. Uh, but no bend pivots. Oh, maybe there is on this one. Ooh, hang on a minute. 
there is a wrist uh, the wrist rocker on there look. so you can actually bend that upwards and down it's quite stiff so you might need to give that a few few little pulls to get that going no pun intended <laughs> And then of course she's got a diaphragm hinge as well, so you can crunch her backwards and forwards as far as that. Um, does she have a rotation? No, just on the on that thing, she can slightly bend her into a position, but I wouldn't. The legs as well lift out quite wide, that being the largest stance you can get. And her legs do move up and back. Not very far back though. Uh, the knees are double jointed so you can get her into some real positions with that uh, you're going to be able to pose her really nicely with that double knee hinge um, oh there's a plastic mould break on mine here on the in leg and then the lifts up and we've also got an ankle uh, rocker um, as well as a bend there as well so all in all this is an awesome action figure now let's take a look at some of the other accessories that came with her and let's double check that she does stand on her own unaided without a stand because these DC ones don't include the stand so hopefully she can stand on her own Ooh, we're having a bit of trouble standing her, she's a bit top heavy but with a bit of teasing and tormenting she can stand on her own just nicely um, so let's take a look at some of the other accessories that are included in her box and to do that I'm going to use my handy dandy new piece of technology so you guys can come along with me oh come on, there we go the handy dandy desk cam AKA my phone. So let's take you guys over to the desk. And there she is in the box. Very nice action figure indeed. Really impressed with that. I think the face mold especially is beautiful on this one. Let's get that camera to focus a little bit more. Come on. Come on camera. There we go. Beautiful face sculpt. Really like that action figure. Now the accessory gun bonus, she does come with, oh, zoom back out, she does come with her mallet, why is the camera not focused, oh my god, there we go, comes with the mallet, which is quite nice, so you can give her that, that's very heavy though, I'm not sure how she's going to stand on her own with that, it does also come with the gun that she uses in the uh, in the new DC bombshells, and the new 52 with the corking, and then she does come with a multitude of different hands, so she comes with a, she comes with the P symbol, or you know, flipping someone the bird, whichever you want to do it. Um, a nice ha open palm high five hand, and then a gun holding hand. And I think this one will be for the mallet because it looks more like a mallet holding hand. Yeah. So a great couple of pieces of accessories there. I will post up some photos for you guys um, on Instagram, so make sure you're an Instagram follower and you'll be able to follow along with everything, all the nice action figure poses that we do. What do you think of that action figure guys? Are you impressed with it? I know I am, I think it's beautiful. I love Harley Quinn, this is a great addition to the DC Comics uh, collect collectibles line. Let's try and get that to focus. Come on. Come on. Joker's wild. Yeah, so let's go back to the big cam for the for, to finish this all up. Okay guys, so what are your thoughts on this Harley Quinn? Let me know in the comments down below guys. Please, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the new style of, you know, how I did that with going to the desk and things, if you enjoyed that, let me know in the comments and I can do that more often if it was easy to see the action figure up close like that. Let me know in the comments. Smash that subscribe button guys, subscribing really supports the show. And don't forget we're doing a giveaway real soon at 5,000 subs. But to be in it, you've got to be a subscriber. So make sure you subscribe, hit like on this video, and I'll speak to you again soon. Have an awesome day guys, and until then, I'll see you soon. Bye!